Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Trading Matters Trading Matters Technical Analysis Chapter 1 Candlesticks and Today we are going to learn Understanding Weeks So a quick recap The thin lines attached to the body of a candlestick known as a shadows or weeks if the thin line attached above the body, it is called as upper wick or upper shadow. If the thin line attached below the body, it is called as lower shadow or lower wick. Let's see upper shadow and rejection of higher prices. See, this is a green candle with upper shadow. And we know that for a green candle, bottom is open, then top of the body is closed and peak is high let's see how this formation takes place candlestick so first this candle open at 100 and at the end of the session it close at 150 and the high 200 indicates that at some point of the session buyers push the market up to 100 so results in the formation of a green candle and at this high price 200 sellers thinks that the stock's price is high, so they entered the market and pushed the market price to 150. So thus results in a formation of red candle. Now this red candle and green candle between 150 and 200 compensate each other and results in the formation of a week. Now this week indicates that between 150 and 200 buyers push the market to 200 and seller push the market to 150 so rejection of prices from 200 to 150 indicated by this week so by looking at any candles week we can observe this candle week we can observe that rejection of higher prices so thus upper week always indicates rejection of higher prices body size versus wick size see the distance between close and high is called size of the wick and distance between open and close is called as size of the body so here we will be having three cases for some candles body greater than wick body may be equal to wick and body less than wick let's see the first case where body greater than wick. See here if you observe these two candles, the wick size is very smaller when compared with the body. So here body greater than wick. And in this second case, you can see almost same size of wick and body. So body is equal to wick. And here wick size is very large when compared with the body. So let's see if you see the first case, smaller sizes of wick indicates weak rejection of higher prices so weak rejection of higher prices means it indicates that buyers are in strong control and body equals to weak means equal some same buying and selling pressure so in this case it is indecisive in nature and in the third case weak size is very large when compared with the body so which indicates strong rejection of higher prices so here we can say that buyers last in control in the third case green candle body size versus buyer strength see let's see here different different candle size bodies are there so let's join the opens of all candles and closes of these candles so from left to right if you observe body size is decreasing and with decrease in the body size buyer strength also decreases and also it's vice versa means with increase in the buyer's uh, body size buyer strength is increases let's see candlestick with lower shadow and how it represents rejection of lower prices so this is a red candlestick with a lower shadow and for a red candle open is at the top and then close at the bottom and lowest point indicates 
low. Let's see how the this candle formation takes place. Initially, it opens at 200 and at the end of the session, it closes at 150 and this low 100 indicates that at some point of session, it reaches a low 100. Means at some point of session, sellers push the market down towards 100, results in the formation of a red candle and then buyers think that now the stock price is very low so they start buying the stock then it increases from 100 to 150 results in the formation of a green candle and between 100 and 150 here you will be having equal selling and buying pressure so they compensate with each other results in the formation of a wick so here we can clearly see that sellers push the market to 100 and buyers reject the price lower price and increase again up to 150 so this is clearly indicates the rejection of lower prices so always lower week indicates rejection of lower prices so here also for red candle also you will be having two cases that is size of the body size of the week let's see first case in which body greater than week so here week size is small and body size is large and second case body is equals to week and third case where body is less than week so in first case smaller smaller week size indicates weaker rejection of lower prices so weaker rejection of lower prices means Sellers are in strong control and body size equal to weak size means sellers are indecisive and now body less than weak means sellers that indicates stronger rejection means sellers lost in control. Red candle body size versus seller strength. So just like the green candles, let's join the opens of these red candles, closes of red candles. So from left to right, body size is decreasing. So with the decrease in the body size, seller strength also decreases. If seller body size increases, seller strength also increases. Both weeks. See, the main difference between red candle and green candle is open, for a green candle, open is at the bottom of the body, for red candle, it is at the top of the body, and green candle closes at top, and red candle closes present at the bottom. So, during the formation of wicks, the wick near to the open forms first, mostly. So, for a green candle, the week near to the open means lower week. So lower week formation takes place first and then higher week formation takes place. For this red candle, the week near to the open is upper week. So first upper week formation takes place and then lower week formation takes place. Both weeks, both weeks means rejection of higher prices as well as rejection of lower prices so let's see formation of a green candle with both wings so initially it opens at 150 and then lower week formation takes place so seller push the market to a low 100 results in the formation of green candle and then buyers enters and push the market to 150 results in the formation of a green candle and these two equal buying and selling pressure compensate each other and forms a week. So we know that lower week indicates the rejection of lower prices and then market still push to higher prices 200 and it closed at a price 200 at the end of the session. But high 250 indicates that at some point of session buyers push the market to 250 and then at that high price seller centers the market and push it to a close 200 
So this equal selling and buyer pressure indicates the rejection of higher prices. That's why you will be having a weak in the up, upper body. So this higher week indicates rejection of higher prices. So a candle with upper week and lower week indicates that in that uh, stock market in that session rejection of higher prices is there along with the rejection of lower price. So in red candle also same thing. So first market opens at 200. And then buyers enters the market because the week near to the open forms first. So we will discuss about upper week formation first in red candle case. So buyers enters the market and push the market to 250. Then sellers enters and push the market to 200. And these two compensates results in the formation of a week. And this week indicates position of higher prices. And then sellers push the market to 150 and closes at the 150 at the end of the session and low 100 indicates at some point of session stellar even push the market to a low 100 and then buyers enter the market and push it to 150 so again a big lower week formation takes place so this indicates clearly rejection of lower prices so for a candle red candle with both weeks it is also indicates that rejection of higher prices rejection of lower prices now let's see the upper week size versus lower week size so here a green candle with upper week and lower week and we know this one is the distance between close and high is known as length of the upper week and the distance between open and low is called as length of the lower week and here three possible cases are there first one upper week may greater than lower week so when here if you observe the length of the upper week is greater than length of the lower week and case two upper week is equals to lower week and case three is upper week less than lower week here in first case upper week greater than lower week indicates the strong rejection of the high prices so strong rejection of high prices for a green candle indicates that buyers lost in control whereas in the second case where upper week equal to lower week the here the case is indecisive in nature and in the third case upper week is smaller when compared with the lower week so this one indicates weak rejection so weak rejection means we can say that buyers are in strong control so for a red candle with both weeks also three cases are possible first one upper week greater than lower week and upper week is equals to lower week that case upper week less than lower week so in the first case upper week is greater than lower week means weak rejection so smaller week in the bottom side indicates weak rejection of buyers which indicates sellers are in strong control and here in the second case it is indecisive in nature and in the third case larger lower week size of a red candle indicates stronger rejection of buyers which means sellers lost in control 